Hold on, I gotta get that. <laughs> you look like Santa Claus. Yeah. Got a surprise. The custom interior. It's a strong bag. There we go. The reason I reached out to this company is they're an affiliate of Extreme Online Store. If anyone's been on my channel for a while, you'll remember I had red seat covers. These are the same ones I had on my Camaro a while ago, but... They were nice covers though, the quality was good. Yeah, I always used to get compliments and people would be like, oh my God, you got red seats. How'd you get red seats? The whole time they were just covers. Wait. Who'd you make fumble with those? That was the Taz special. Oh, put, it, put them in? That? Yeah, it was Taz and James. <laughs> when you order these, they come inside a bag yeah, with a box. A box inside the bag, inside a bag. These are the bottom parts. It's the same thing as when I had them on the Camaro. Bottom part just slips over, and then you uh, hook it up underneath. And then the back parts slide right over. Shouldn't be too, too bad to put on, but... Slip fit and go! Quality-wise, these are... They feel like real leather. I mean, no, it's gotta be real leather. Oh, Feels I'm pretty good. Expert. <laughs> Smells like leather. It'll be a Corvette fucking seat for fucking Halloween! <laughs> Alright, so I'm just gonna cut to us uh, getting these to go yeah, in the car. The Shouldn't be too, too bad to put them in though. In all seriousness, like we said, it's basically just slip-ons. This part slips on the top, that part slips on the bottom, and then you hook it up underneath. We will uh, okay, so go further into detail when we put them in. Kind of like making them more... Alright, so here's the before the interior. You can see we got all black everything. Seats are a little beat up from the uh, previous owner. Also, vet got some tints on it. Needed them desperately. Shit looks like 5,000 times better with tints. Guess we'll just hop into the install now. I don't know. You ready? Here we go, sir. Passenger side. So you can tell it's the passenger side because the opening is on the left. Here we go, let's put them So from my experience putting these in the Camaro, it's easier to start with the seat back because if you put the bottom part on, it tends to slide around. It literally just slides right on. Oh! I could totally take the top off too, but Recommend I'm not going to do that. <laughs> you could actually take this off in the corner, this little uh, handle seatbelt guide. We're not going to do that just for the sake of time. I want to get this video kind of done as soon as possible, but you could tuck How this in up it? under and around the seatbelt yeah. guard. Once you get the seat cover actually on the seat, pulled down and everything, there should be two. I don't know There's what you would call those. There's three of them. Three. So you put them in, Let and then you go like this. You put them in flat, and then they go like this in between the seat. Yeah. That's a pretty nice feature. Back. So here is a head-on from the front. You can see the difference. It really makes the interior pop. Like I was saying, they have black, red, blue. Pretty sure like yellow, green. They have a whole bunch of different colors you could get, but I went with the red because who doesn't like red guts on a car? Yeah. The bottoms, I'm going to guess, are just... Either or. I don't think the bottoms are side specific. There's probably are, but. Okay, so again, you're gonna wanna slide it. You're gonna wanna have it forward. So it's hard to uh, explain while Ed's doing this, so but. There's a strap that's gonna go around the back. There's a strap up under the bottom along with those three of those prong things that you twist, put in between the seat. And then there's uh, hooks around the front you just hook to each other. So yeah, I mean, it's not bad. Now, all in all, we're probably like, what, five minutes into this seat? Yeah. As cut down as this video is probably gonna be, it's really not that difficult. We're probably gonna have to sit in it a couple times too to uh yeah, it helps it set. Oh, hold on. The reason I didn't buy seat covers for this car originally was because I didn't want to lose the heated and cooled seats feature. But yeah, these actually have holes in them, so you won't lose that feature. Here we go. The finished seat. I'll get a uh, frontal view side by side again. Makes the interior pop crazy. I'll hop in the passenger seat real quick. Here. I mean, it feels just like a normal seat. Feels the same. It's just... Horny. Yeah, it's just red. It's just red horny. <laughs> Let's put the red floor in. It looks pretty solid. As long as the seats are not raised way up, you can't even tell this is a seat cover. It literally just looks like how the seats come. It actually, the fitment is actually pretty good. It's also blizzarding outside. Don't really want to run across the... Uh... How bad is it? Is it like snowing, snowing? Oh, there's snow! Yeah, it's snowing. There's the uh, stock side, and then the redded out side. On the other side. We're kind of just gonna breeze through the install. It's easy enough, anyone can do this. We're just gonna kind of breeze through it on the opposite side, but it's all the same stuff as this, it's yeah. just. I mean, I would think you'd definitely be able to heat up the leather and make it a little more pliable, or you just sit in it over and over and over and over and over. Here, hop, hop up in there. Let me, get a little, let me get a little clip of you in there. Oh, yeah. Nice and padded, nice and comfortable there. My ass is comfy, bro. Are you ready for the other side? Your turn. <laughs> My neck. I'm using the. Oh, 
Oh. I'm using the medical card. Also, these come factory with 335, 25s, 20s on the back. I believe they're 20s. 19 yeah. front, 20s back. Yeah, they're stacked. They're uh, yeah. different sizes. So we're looking at it right now. You still got room. Yeah, it ain't poking. Could add a little bit of spice up on there. I mean. Look how much room we got in there. We could fit this. So this is a 25. Yeah, but those are 12. What are they, 11, 12 inch rim? 12, what, what, 20 what? by 12. Front's 19 by, I believe, 10s. But bro, you could fit 35s on there. what? Factory, or you're talking about Rohanas. 20 by 11 rear, uh, 20 by nine fronts. Passenger view. Looks official. It's not like you can't tell. It's all one piece. This side, if someone's looking in like this, bro, looks like it's the real seat. So, driver's side, like we were saying, same thing. The way you could tell is because the hole for the seatbelt and side support thing is on the right side instead of the left. Move the seat up. Everybody. We need a shot, bro, so we don't gotta be doing this here. Go fund us. Shot coming soon. About to start an OnlyFans. Yes, soapy bitches. You promised me soapy bitches. You told me we were taking pictures of the Eagle. I know you remember that day, bro. We I so, like, a long, long years, like, probably like three, four <laughs> years. Four <laughs> years. Four or five years ago. Four <laughs> years at this point, bro. God <laughs> damn. He's like, we're looking for cars with soapy bitches. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm in there. Yeah, we were supposed to do photo shoots with a bunch of girls like wearing bikinis with soap and stuff for a, a <laughs> old car. No, but a photo shoot. It, it was an old car group that we were in, but yeah, it, uh, for various yeah, reasons, did not come to fruition. I'm like, yeah, you're like, I just got that Camaro over there. Yeah. <laughs> Fast forward four years later, we're putting floor mats in a Corvette. <laughs> I hope they don't mind us cursing in this video. Yeah, they don't got a choice. I mean, it is it is a uh, realistic install. Rated R, baby. This is that realism video. You, you you can't like you know you go look at the other side. I see how I worked it into place. So look where we're at here, poking out whatever whatever. I gotta pull the bottom in and do that. And then yeah. go to the other side is it's tucked in because you gotta kind of like work it in. Yeah, it fits nice, but like you gotta <laughs> fucking make it fit. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta heat it up a little bit once you sit some it in a couple them, times. Some guys don't. You know, you just take your time and you work the whole thing in until it fits. That's all you gotta do, bro. You gotta sit in this shit. Yeah, once you sit in it, kind of sets it in there a little better, but. We're at the finish line. Bro, that actually looks pretty good. Through the door, it looks good. It looks fantastic. I have a polarizer on my camera so you can see through the windshield pretty good. Bro, that looks pretty sick. I don't know what I'm gonna use for the thumbnail. Like, I can't really use this because I like, can't really see it from that far. This is it. We haven't done a cut like that since you got music band. <laughs> yeah, hey, I got copyright strikes. I was angry. That was such a good ass cut, <laughs> We were struggling. That was 150 degrees on the Camaro. <laughs> she was so hot. Flashback. Seats. <laughs> Hop out real quick. Let me get the uh, thumbnail. I'm comfy. These are comfy. Comfy? Yeah. See? Everything is installed there. Got both sides, got both floor mats. We step back and get a good thumbnail here. Interior overhaul. So uh, out, of, out of 10, like one being the easiest, 10 being the hardest, what do you think the install for that is? I'd say like a, a fucking like a three. Yeah, she was like a two and a half, three. It wasn't bad. It looks nasty, bro. It looks like actually good. The red inside looks crazy. But uh... Yeah, again, interior from Custom Interior. I'll leave a link to them in the description down below. I don't know if they're affiliated with or partnered with or something, Extreme Online Store, but shout out to both of those companies for hooking it up with the interior stuff. Anyone wants this? They have a whole bunch of colors, red, white, black, blue, green, yellow, whatever. Got it for Camaros, Corvettes, and I'm sure other cars, but I've only had a Camaro and a Corvette, so. The next day. So when I first bought this car, basically right away I changed out the chrome badges for the carbon flash ones, but I've been waiting on the black Corvette logo to come. Finally came. So real quick, I'm gonna change it out. You guys know the drill. Got the hair dryer ready. I'm gonna put some painter's tape right along the top so I could keep the line. I'm guessing there'll be like residue behind it so I could kinda eyeball it to keep it straight, but just in case I'm gonna put this there just so I could line it up. And here we go. All right, so normally when I do this, I use this pair of sunglasses to kind of peel the stuff up. It worked fine for the logos, but the Corvette badge for some reason doesn't want to come off. So I'm going to use a flathead screwdriver. Gently get in there so I don't scratch the car. And there we go. Okay, well, didn't expect that to happen. I mean, I'm basically just going to keep picking with this and hitting it with the hair dryer. So I'll just cut to having it switched out. 
And finally got it on there. Definitely like it more than the Chrome. Not sure what, if it's just like old or something, but it literally was just chipping apart when I was peeling it off the back of the car. But I'll give you guys a view on the outside. Bro, it's just it's slowly but surely getting this car together. I'll give it a cold start real quick. Thank <laughs> you. 